Do you want to learn how to trade stocks and cryptocurrency? Join our community of traders. Go to richpicksdaily.com and find the next 10 bagger. guys, how you doing? This is Rich from Rich TV Live, and we have some news once again from TAT. You can subscribe to the newsletter, and you can try TAT, get a free pack if you're in America, and they are going global. Is the new name, TAT Global Alternatives, Inc., T-O-B-A-F in America. You can see the trend is your friend. It's clearly trending up. And in Canada, currently at 421, up 3% today on the news, and let's break it down. TAT Global Patent Filing Advanced for Non-Provisional Status with Enhanced Scope of Production. TAT is T-A-A-T on the Canadian Securities Exchange, T-O-B-A-F on the OTCQX, highest tier exchange before the senior exchange. And they are making the application to the NASDAQ. Stay tuned for that. And to TP2 in Frankfurt, Germany. Hello to everybody in Germany and Europe, everyone who is a fan of TAT Global Alternatives. Is pleased to announce that it's patent filing with the United States Patent and Trademark Office, USPTO, for the technique which causes Beyond Tobacco trademark to taste and smell similarly to tobacco has been advanced to non-provisional status with the assignment of a patent examiner currently pending. In a press release dated September 4, 2020, the company announced that it had filed for patent protection of this refinement technique, which characterizes both TAT and its Beyond Tobacco-based material. TAT was launched at retail in Ohio in Q4 2020 and was made available to the majority of smokers age 21 plus in the United States through e-commerce in February 2021. Sentiments from users of TAT have largely reflected satisfaction with the product's experiential similarly to that of smoking a tobacco cigarette, despite no tobacco or nicotine content whatsoever in TAT. As the company continues its efforts to build a market share in the USD 814 billion global tobacco industry, patents can play an important role in its ability to establish a market position and preserve the competitive advantages that can be had from patent protection. Incumbent firms in the tobacco industry are among the world's top patent filers, with Philip Morris International and Japan Tobacco International having been listed in the 100 top patent filers by the European Patent Office in 2016 and 2019, respectively. With the company's patent filing having advanced to non-provisional status, an examiner will be assigned to review the company's claims and potentially grant a United States patent based on their findings. A provisional patent application is initially filed to establish a U.S. filing date for invention and must be followed by a non-provisional application within 12 months in order to proceed to formal review. An invention. After a patent is granted, the holder generally benefits from its protection for a period of 20 years from the provisional filing date. The company's non provisional patent application filed this week has revised the initial claims to seek an enhanced scope of protection in the tobacco industry as the advice of its at the advice of its patent attorney, Edmund DeFrank, announced in a press release dated January 15, 2021, who has written and pro- and prosecuted more than 1,000 patent and trademark applications for clients to include Microsoft, Hewlett Packard, IBM, and NASA. These changes to the claims include details regarding the flavor elements of Beyond Tobacco, as well as an expanded range of materials, which can potentially be used for this purpose. TAT Chief Executive Officer Seti Coscarella commented, the intellectual property protection afforded by a patent on the Beyond Tobacco-based material of TAT could improve our competitive position in the tobacco industry, aside from the fact that it would be more difficult for competitors to imitate our product, it would be more practical for us to manufacture Beyond Tobacco using third-party producers instead of producing only in-house, which we currently do because the process is a trade secret. Although this makes sense. Now I understand. They've been protecting their trade secret until they get the patent. And then once they get the patent and it's approved, then they can actually outsource. Very smart. We are pleased to advance this process in line with standard timeframes 
for U.S. patent applications, and we look forward to undertaking the steps to finalize the patent, which we believe can strengthen TAT as a competitive product and a uniquely better choice for smokers age 21 plus. Guys, go to tatglobal.com if you want to learn more about TAT. You can watch a video conversation with Seti Coscarella and see all the news. And you can join their newsletter. You can go to tritat.com. No nicotine. No tobacco. Just tat. There it is. Tobacco is used by 1.3 billion people worldwide, many of whom aspire to leave nicotine behind. And with Biden announcing that they want to reduce the nicotine intake in tobacco, cigarettes, TAT is well positioned to be a leader in America. And they are positioning themselves with the new name change and with everything they're doing to grow globally. As you can see here in Canada, currently at 421, and in America, under the symbol T-O-B-A-F, with the new name, TAT Global Alternatives, Inc. What do you guys think of this news? Seems like TAT's doing all the right moves. Love to know what you guys think. Remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please consult a financial advisor before you invest in anything that we talk about here in Rich TV Live. If you've invested in TAT, you are officially up over 1,000% since IPO day when they initially IPO'd at 41 cents. If you're not winning, you're not watching, we bring in the winners. We brought you TAT first and we bring you the winners first. Love to know what you guys think. If you like the video, smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere and subscribe if you're alive. This is your boy Rich from Rich to be Live. Bring you the news beyond tobacco, patent filing advanced to non-provisional status with enhanced scope of protection, big news for TAT, protecting their intellectual property, protecting their trade secrets so they can go global. That's why they got the new name, TAT, Global Alternatives, Inc. What do you guys think? It's your boy, and I'm out. Peace.